hoping that all of you are doing okay. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video today. We thank God for life. We thank God for this day. So last year, December, I had shown you guys uh, my process of moving into this house. And then three months ago, I showed you a bit of this house. Like I was revamping my living room. And then I didn't give you an update after that. Okay, to be honest, nobody has asked me to do this house tour. I just figured, let me do a house tour for you guys because I left everything hanging. I haven't done much to this house. I've just done the basics but I am comfortable as it is right now. So I'm going to show you how my entire one bedroom house looks like. Actually, after showing you the house, I will even show you up to up to the rooftop. Like I won't leave any stone unturned. So guys, without much further ado, let's get straight into the video. So we are going to start from the door. I love this door because when someone rings the bell, I can just peep here to see who the person is who's knocking on my door. And that is how the, the lock looks like. So when I come in, I always place my key here because I have a habit of misplacing keys. So I put the key here and the lift key here, the, the lift card over there. This is the initial to my name, Elizabeth. So guys, uh, the theme color of my house is gray and it was inspired by these gray curtains. So to match the gray curtains, I have a gray carpet as well and also the throw pillows here and here. Let me just show you up close. So uh, I have that uh, this, this gray throw pillow cover with some goldish on it. And to break the gray and blue, I have this white and gold throw pillow cover. And on this three seater, I have this to match the curtains. And I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute. And this one to break the monotony. So from a distance, that's how the whole setup looks like. From this angle, that is how the seat looks like. And this seat over here. From afar, that is my TV area. And let me move closer and explain some things here. So when I moved into this house, this floating shelf wasn't here. I had to call someone to install it for me because I felt like the walls were, the ceiling The ceiling of this house is so high and the walls were looking so empty. So we had to put something, something there to occupy the space, the empty space. So I haven't <laughs> done much in decorating. I just bought this home stuff to put it there. And I think it looks cute. And also this, a uh, fake flower and uh, this is a flower vase yeah this I need to buy some flowers and put there over there but I haven't bought it yet I don't know what kind of flowers to buy or what to decorate there so that it can look uh, nice but I'll, I'll figure it out I'll go, I will search on Pinterest and then down is the TV it is a 40 inch I'm not sure if it's 40 or 42 I've forgotten I bought it long time ago yeah that is my TV and I really don't understand why it doesn't look big in on camera it looks so small on camera but anyway this is my TV stand which I really hate so much because when I was buying it at that time I was broke and I bought a smaller one now I hate it because it I feel like it doesn't fit so I put my radio over there and it's speakers <laughs> and that is another speaker over there so this radio guys I've had it for almost six years now since I was in campus up to this point and it's working perfectly that is my Wi-Fi stuff over there those are the remotes or the TV stand and uh, I don't know what to put over there really. Previously, this speaker was there, but I removed it so that it can make this TV stand to look a bit longer. But yeah, that's how it looks like for now. And then next to the, to the TV stand, I have that fake flower plant over there. And that's how the whole setup is. And for those who might wonder, this is just a air freshener. It's an air wick. It's an air freshener. It smells so good. Yeah. 
in the living room makeover video a lot of you suggested that i remove this water dispenser from here and place it in another place but now the problem is the only place where i can put this water dispenser is in the kitchen and my kitchen is very very small it can't even accommodate my fridge so this was the this was the only place that i saw convenient for this water dispenser and on the three seater couch side i have that wall hanging over there I bought it in town it was around 1000 shillings and then next to it i have that fridge and the reason why i have that fridge over there is because the kitchen again the kitchen is too small to accommodate this fridge so for now that it will have to be there uh -huh. so on the other wall i have this um mirror over there the round mirror and the ottoman but now the problem is the people who installed this mirror for me they didn't place it in the middle so that you know i wanted this ottoman to be there because i really i want this space this whole space to myself i didn't want to place anything there because you know it's a small living room and i just want i don't like clutter so um the only space for this ottoman was that part and now they didn't place it in the middle and it affected everything but as of now that is how it looks like i really love this mirror so much i wanted the illusion of a bigger space because this living room is small also but yeah that is how it looks like that is me flexing there yeah and that is how the living room looks like from the mirror it's from the living room next is the washroom or the bathroom yes and uh just before you enter the bathroom that corridor area i have my washing machine over there so it is here because i can't put it on the balcony because it will get damaged by the strong sunlight the rain the dust you know all that plus also they didn't provide any laundry area so whenever i want to use it i just take it to the balcony and use it from there i'll show you in a few where i use it from by the way it's not very it's not actually heavy and I can manage, I can manage with it. And then next to the to the washing machine is the hand wash basin. And above it is this beautiful mirror that I love so much. Yeah. And uh, this is where I do all my face, face cleansing routines from. So I have my toothpaste dispenser over there and uh, this bathroom organizer. That is where I place my things. Uh, this is my soap dispenser. Yeah, you might think it's so high above there and maybe I should have placed it here. But I have a cat in this house. And it, the cat likes to jump over stuff. So if he jumps on this, he will break it. So from there, my bathroom. Let me switch on the lights. Uh, this is my bathroom. This is the shower head, although this is not the shower head I found when... This is me who replaced it with the other shower head because theirs was already spoiled by the time I, I moved into this house. So for decoration, I put that um, fake flower over there. And that is where I put my towel when having a shower. Most of the time, my towel is on the balcony for aeration. So when I'm showering, that is where I put it. And this is just a soap dish. And these are my stuff, you know, body scrubber and some stuff over there, shavers, yeah. From the corridor, guys, my bedroom is over here. And it's a big, big bedroom. I love it. Especially this closet. This is what actually attracted me to this house. I saw this and I was sold out. Like, it has a lot of storage space. Can you see? Can you guys see? Let me go up again so you see. So there is space here. There is space. Ah, let me move back. There is space, storage space over there. Another storage space. Another one. Another one. Another one. And those drawers. I'm telling you guys, I have a lot of storage space in this closet. So this is the mirror. It, it has a mirror. And um, this is where I dress up from. And let me show you some magic. Behind this mirror is more storage space. Can you guys see that? A lot of storage space. So here I have placed my handbags. Of course, there are more handbags at the back. And then my makeup stuff and more makeup stuff. 
so let me move back so that you can see the whole closet how it looks like so from the top downwards that is how everything looks like and that is my four by six bed that is how it looks like and uh, there's more space here so i placed that suitcase over there because it's too large it can't fit in the closet and that is the duvet that i was having before i'm embarrassed that i had that because right now i feel like it's so ugly so it is there so that when i have a visitor i can give them to cover themselves yes so that is how it looks like and these are the curtains i actually had in the living room before we upgraded to new curtains that were matching with the couches i hate these curtains but because curtains are so expensive i don't want to buy curtains right now they are doing the job for me so for now i will have those there and by the way this window doesn't look so large in this video but in real life when you're here you you can see how huge the window is and i have very good lighting over here and by the way guys all the windows in this house they are sliding windows next is my kitchen that is how it looks like as you can see there's no space for the refrigerator and the water dispenser so those are my kitchen cabinets that is, i placed some shopping over there like that is cooking oil and uh, this is where i put my onions garlic and all that kind of stuff and my cereals this is where i place my utensils these are all the utensils that i have because i live alone i don't have much and in the next cabinet uh my spices look at that i love them i love them so much so those are all the spices i have and the coffee and my oh, coffee honey ginger tea uh my blender over there yeah that is how everything looks like this is so beautiful and down here is my two burner gas cooker that one and below it is the gas cylinder and this is the only countertop that i have like the kitchen is so small the house is beautiful but the kitchen is so small so when i want to cook i just take this dish rack over there and i use the space but it works for me because I'm alone. So people who, people who have families are the ones who will suffer. And uh, of course, I have two kitchen sinks, which are so beautiful. I really, really love this. By the way, this pipe goes to the outside. I'm the one who added this this the, this uh, pipe over here. So this is where I place my washing machine. And I connect this pipe to the washing machine. So this is where I do laundry from. And that is the kitchen window oh i haven't shown you i have more storage space the kitchen is small but i have a lot of storage space so uh this is where i place my cutlery as you can see and down here uh i have my cereals over there my cooking oil over there and cooking pots so basically that's how my whole kitchen is looking like it's very beautiful i love it it's perfect for one person like me that is the bulb up there so i love it i love it guys it's beautiful so guys from the kitchen let me show you the balcony so this is my balcony i love the lighting that they put here it's very bright at night by the way and uh this rack is a, a drying rack so after if i remove the clothes from the washing machine i air dry them here they don't drip water because the the washing machine semi dries the clothes yeah guys so it's a very very large balcony and i love it so much i'm a mess don't know how i got here but i'm blessed didn't know it take me past my destiny you're behind me with the rest cuz i'm a mess no more you Everything is safe. 
I'm done with the house, they were showing you the whole house. Now let's go to the rooftop and I show you how the rooftop looks like. I think I'll have to be doing some videos from here. So by the way guys, I'm with my niece Alice. Hi guys. Yes, she's the one who is actually helping me take some of these videos. So we are at the rooftop and this is where we put our clothes out to dry. But for me, I rarely use this space because I'm alone. I don't have a lot of clothes. So most of my clothes dry at my balcony. It's a covered rooftop. So it's covered with this luminous sheet so you don't have to worry about your clothes getting rained on. I like that they put this flower, this flower pots. Don't mind these two. I don't know who placed them here. They were not here. <laughs> yeah, so I like there were more flowers. I don't know where they took the rest actually. But yeah, these are this is what is available at this moment. And the windows they are also sliding windows, so sometimes they open all those windows for the clothes to dry properly for aeration, you know. So that's how it looks like and that is where people put their clothes to dry. And that is a bathroom over there, here. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling you the views from up here, they are... Mwah. But unfortunately, perfect. yeah, they are perfect. Unfortunately, I don't want to show you because some of you guys will know where I live and I don't want to give my precise uh, location, you know, for security reasons. We so, have online DCIs. Yeah, we have online DCIs, FBI, FBIs. So the day I will be relocating from this place, like the day I'll be moving out of this apartment, then I will be confident to show you like the surroundings, how they look like. But for now, let's just enjoy the interior. Okay. So that is how my house looks like and the, um, the rooftop. And I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you like the apartment because I love this place. I love being here. It's much, far much better than the place I was living at before. I'm very, very comfortable here. So now guys, we will come to the end of this video. And we're looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye, Bye guys! guys.